Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Margarita. I'm a stay-at-home homeschooling mom of four kids and on this channel I share homemaking and motherhood videos. Today I'm doing an updated review on the Upland sectional and also answering your frequently asked questions. Now, in my previous video I did a comparison review to the Ektorp and the Upland. Today I'm just talking about this Upland sectional, what I like, what I don't like, and answering a few of your questions, including the most common question, which is, would the Upland slipcover fit the Ektorp sectional or sofa? So the first question is, what color are my slipcovers? At the time that I bought the sectional in October, they only had one gray color. Today, they have two different grays. One is this one, which is the Hollarp, I believe. Yes, Hollarp gray, and the other one is a little bit lighter. I love the neutral color. It goes well with my gray walls and it's also dark enough to hide stains that my kids make on it. I actually have always wanted a white sofa. I had one a couple of years ago in the Ektorp uh, slipcover, but um, when I went to get a white one just a couple weeks ago, they were completely sold out, but I will keep my eye open for that. I think it would be so fun to change it up a little once in a while. Question number two, is it comfortable? Absolutely, without a doubt, it is very comfortable. It's the perfect size for us. I am 5'6", my husband's around 5'8", so it's perfect size for our family. It's very soft and it has springs in the sofa, so it's very comfortable. Question number three, how do I wash it and how often do I wash the slipcovers? The slipcovers come right off very easily and I wash the slipcovers on the sofa cushions about every single month and the actual slipcover on the whole entire section I've only washed twice because it remains fairly clean. The covers come off so easily, just unzip all the way and pull them off. I always make sure not to overload the washing machine and wash a few at a time and I always zip up the covers to prevent any broken zippers. I wash the covers on cold using Tide detergent. I dry the covers on high. I have also dried a few slip covers outside. I just hung them on my rocking chairs. But if you have like a deck railing that you can hang them on or a line, they dry really fast in the sun. Question number four, do they shrink? Yes, they slightly shrunk after I washed them, especially since I dried them in the dryer. Now, when Ikea sewed the coke covers for the sectional they were a little bit loose so if you've watched my first video you've noticed that the sofa covers were a little bit loose the back of it looked a little bit loose but once you wash and you uh, dry them they fit just right and just perfectly they are not too small or too short on the sofa at all Question number five, how does the sofa and the slip covers hold up? It holds up amazingly well. I have four kids. Three of them are constantly jumping on my sofa. They love to jump on it because of the springs that it has in it, even though I tell them not to because I'm worried they're gonna bonk their head on the coffee table. Now it's not as often since we have the trampoline and it's been nice outside, so they're jumping outside. But during the winter time, they use the sofa as a trampoline. They use the cushions to build forts and to play, um, jumping from one to another, playing the floor is lava. So the cushions and the sofa holds up really well to daily wear and tear. Question number six, are the cushions memory foam? No, they are not memory foam. There are something called a resilience foam. I had to look that up on the IKEA website. Um, it has a padding on top. At first I thought it was a little bit odd because I was used to the Ektorp sofa. The Ektorp has the foam and it has like down feathers on top but um, this one felt very soft and strange <laughs> compared to going, coming right off after the Ektorp sofa. But I find it very comfortable now. In fact, we still have an Ektorp sofa in a kid's playhouse out and back. 
So sitting on that one, it feels a lot harder and this one, the Upland, seems a lot softer. And I think the most common question I get is, do the Upland slip covers fit the Ektorp sofa? This is a very common question. In fact, when I went to Ikea back in October to buy a new slip cover for my Ektorp sectional because the other one was completely destroyed, I was told they were discontinued and I didn't know what to do. So I asked the employee if I could just buy the Upland slip cover and put it on my Ektorp sectional. And he said, yes, but it would probably be a little too big because the measurements on the upland are larger than the Ektorp. So we ended up just buying a new so sectional. We actually have the old Ektorp sofa in our um, playhouse. What I did was take the slipcover off of the upland and I took it out back into the playhouse and tried it on to see how it would look like out of curiosity's sake. So this is the Ektorp sofa that we have in our playhouse. Now, as you can tell, it's a lot smaller than the sectional, but I can still try on this side of the slipcover and show you how it looks like. And I can try on the cushion pieces and show you guys how the Upland sectional uh, slipcover fits on the Ektor. Now, obviously this is a sectional slipcover on a sofa, but as you can see, it's still the same shape. So this is very large. So the Upland is significantly larger. Um, it would be very baggy if you bought this slipcover for your Ektorp sofa. And this is the sitting cushion. As you can see, it's completely swimming in it. That would be very baggy. And then the corner piece, Corner piece isn't quite as bad. And this is the, the middle seat. I would say the back cushions don't look quite as ginormous as the sitting cushion and as the slip cover or the so sofa sit slip cover. So I don't recommend the Upland slipcover for the Ektorp sofa. I think your sofa will end up looking very sloppy unless you have someone completely resize the cushion covers. Now there are many other options for new slipcovers. On Etsy and a couple websites that I found online that you can have someone sew you a slipcover for your IKEA furniture. You just can Google IKEA furniture slipcovers and something will come up. I actually considered this option, um, but then we just decided to buy a whole new sofa instead. Question number eight, is there anything I do not like about this sofa? Now, there's nothing major, but after washing the slipcovers, what is it? eight times at least i've noticed that it has some kind of like interesting feel to it they've certainly gotten a lot softer they were very rough and i remember talking about that in my first video they felt very rough they almost felt like car fabric but they're very soft right now and they kind of look a little bit velvet it's very interesting i don't know how to explain it to you so i'll try to show it to you So that's the only concern I have at the moment. I'm not sure if it's gonna get worse the more I wash the slip covers, but I'll keep you guys posted. And lastly, what are my thoughts on it and would I still recommend it? I would absolutely recommend this up the Upland uh, sectional and the sofas. They are incredibly comfortable. They're incredibly easy to clean if you have kids or pets. They are very soft, they're bouncy, they fit great if you're a little taller person because they're a little bit higher off the ground. Well, this wraps up the most frequently asked questions. If you do have any other questions that I did not answer, leave them down below and I will answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.